This short video is a supplement to the manuscript entitled Digital Dermatitis in Ruminants, Recent Perspectives, as published in Veterinary Medicine Research and Reports in 2015. Digital dermatitis is an infectious disease of cattle, sheep, elk and goats. Digital dermatitis is a polymicrobial disease and to date the primary etiological agent is believed to be a group of, of spirochete bacteria classified as treponemes. As you can see from this image of a treponemal bacteria which was taken by transmission electron microscopy, they are long, thin, tightly coiled bacteria. Because they are so thin, these bacteria need to be viewed by dark field microscopy. This short video shows the use of dark field microscopy looking at the contents of a swab taken from a case of digital dermatitis in an elk and highlights the polymicrobial and polytreponemal nature of infection. In this case, a swab was taken from an elk with clinical signs of digital dermatitis and processed for culture under anaerobic conditions. The swab is used to inoculate media, a drop of which was put on a slide for observation by dark field microscopy. In this field of view, there are three easily identified bacteria, two of which are obviously coiled and are treponemes. This view shows a final magnification of 600x and you can also observe the corkscrew-like motility of the treponemes. If we change the field of view, again there are several different bacteria that can be detected, including more than one morphotype of treponeme. And therein lies one of the difficulties in trying to identify the etiological agent of digital dermatitis. To date, up to 20 different phylotypes of treponemes have been detected by molecular assays in cases of digital dermatitis. However, only a limited number of phylotypes have actually been cultured to date. We are limited in our ability to culture treponemes associated with digital dermatitis and so there's a real need to further develop culture methodologies to isolate and characterize other treponemes associated with DD. Note also that there are other bacteria present in this sample which are not treponemes and these are also considered important in the disease process. This next video shows the result of a swab that was originally negative by dark field microscopy when first received. However, when subcultured for seven days, it was positive, and you can see that this media has selected for growth of one phylotype of treponeme. In this case, it is likely treponeme phage dennis, and we make that observation based on observed shape, coiling, and the motility of the organism that we're viewing. In contrast, if you look at this treponeme, at the same magnification, it is quite different. It is shorter, much more motile, and has a different type of coiling. At this stage, I can't say which phylotype this treponema is. Uh, this particular phylotype is readily observed in swabs from cattle as well as elk, but it is much more difficult to grow and maintain this particular phylotype compared to the treponema phage dennis like So, in conclusion, Digital dermatitis is a polymicrobial disease that includes multiple phylotypes of treponemes as well as other bacteria. One of our main challenges in trying to further understand this disease is our ability to culture the range of bacteria associated with digital dermatitis, which is ultimately required to further advance our understanding of pathogenic mechanisms of infection. I'd like to acknowledge the support of Jim Foss in making this video and Rick Hornsby in generating the cultures of treponemes. Thank you.